So maybe you could say that a dominant ideology in the world today is a very materialistic one. Many of our communities and cultures are caught up in this idea that economic growth is the most important thing that a community can do. The sign of glory of a nation is how much wealth it's accumulated. And the way that we have been taught that we do this is through competition. So often this competition is self-interested, it's aggressive, it's you know looking out for number one. While this ideology has really taken over, and yes, maybe some countries, you know, their GDP has grown and, and there have been some positive things perhaps that have come of it, there's also been the loss of friendships, the loss of cooperation as a means of working, um, the loss of bonds of trust. People feel very isolated from one another. There's you know, a rising sense of loneliness in the world. So, so this ideology has had a lot of negative consequences. One thing that the rising generations will have to think about is whether the current systems and the assumptions that underlie them and the, and the kind of principles that they promote will allow humanity to achieve a new stage of prosperity. It seems that maybe these systems have kind of reached the point at which they're useful, and now we have to learn new ways really all, all of us, but particularly the rising generations, will have this task of thinking about new systems based on a new shared ethic.